Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. The meltdown began Friday morning when Senate negotiators walked out of a meeting with their House counterparts. If you invite me over to your office to talk about something and we're in the middle of that discussion, you don't get up and leave. The whole meltdown comes down to one thing. The House believed the Senate was drawing maps for the Tampa area because of political reasons. Senator Tom Lee was the author of a plan to shrink four Tampa area congressional districts down to two in the county. Without warning, the House began questioning whether the map was being drawn to favor Lee or others. Members, we don't come here to have our wishes done. We come here to represent people. We come here to abide by the law. The House then voted twice to refuse the Senate map. Three days, 99 days, Mr. Speaker. Senate President Andy Gardner called the refusal a mistake. I think unless we can come to some agreement in the next few days, we're going to sit back and watch the, uh, the Supreme Court draw the congressional districts. This won't be the first time a court has drawn districts. In the late 1960s, lawmakers refused to change maps that saw 17 percent of the population elect a majority of the legislature. The federal courts ordered a University of Florida political scientist to redraw all of the districts. House Minority Leader Mark Pafford says the meltdown is more proof that lawmakers are incapable of being fair. Legislature, a political body, is not capable of producing a map that doesn't have politics that are built into it. A court hearing on the maps was already scheduled for next week. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Vasilinda.